All right, we're recording. Two of Tech's Magnificent Seven rode to the rescue Thursday evening with better-than-expected first-quarter results that followed a downbeat report from Facebook owner Meta in disturbing U.S. economic news this morning. Alphabet, the parent company of Google, beat analyst projections for sales and profit and announced it would be paying a dividend in June, and Microsoft also outperformed Wall Street expectations with a lift from its cloud and artificial intelligence operations. I'm Rosemarie Miller, here to discuss the results with Peter Cohen, a Babson College Associate Professor of Management Practice. Thank you so much for joining me today, Peter. Thanks for inviting me. For sure. So, Peter, after the GDP came in cool, inflation ran hot, and Meta disappointed on sales, Google and Microsoft came out with upbeat results. Are these just company-by-company company stories, or can we draw any conclusions about the tech sector, which has been doing great in recent months? Well, um, I, I haven't seen the uh, the forecast for uh, revenue growth and earnings growth for the next quarter and for the next year, so I'm going to withhold my judgment on Microsoft and uh, Google, but it looks like based on what they've reported so far, that they exceeded expectations um, on the top line and the bottom line. And I think the key thing here is that generative AI is really a big trend. I mean, it's a big trend with with Meta, which is really spending heavily to catch up. And I think the amount that they spent really worried investors in, in, in its stock. Whereas Microsoft has been spending heavily uh, and it has uh, done really well in terms of uh, accelerating revenue growth, accelerating the growth of the Google I'm sorry, of the Microsoft Cloud of Azure, uh, because of uh, demand for uh, uh, training and operating large language models. And Google has also in improved its uh, advertising revenue growth, as well as uh, boosting its growth from the Google Cloud. And one of the interesting pieces about the Google report is that they're actually making money on the cloud. They made $900 million, which sort of means that maybe they're past the, the hump that uh, Meta is now uh, trying to sort of Climb, um, to uh, build a, a real AI business. Well, Peter, how significant is the Alphabet dividend to investors? It's only 20 cents on a stock that's rocketed almost 20% to $177 in after hours trading. But the company also announced a $70 billion buyback authorization. So it seems like the company is signaling confidence. Yes, yeah, so it's signaling confidence. I mean, it's also signaling that it has more cash than it knows how to invest. Uh, which is sort of a, a problem that Apple also uh, had. And, you know, several years ago, it started buying back stock and paying dividends. And that seemed to attract a different class of investor um, than it had before, uh, like Warren Buffett. Um, it kind of makes me wonder whether maybe Warren Buffett will say, you know what, I'm, I'm tired of Apple not coming up with any new products. Maybe I should put my money into this uh, company that's buying back stock and paying dividends that's also growing, namely Google. Mm -hmm. Well, it also looks like all of Alphabet's divisions had strong sales. Which do you think are the most interesting? Well, I, I'm very interested in, in you know what they're going to try to do to monetize a generative AI. I mean, I know that they benefit uh, the cloud. They benefit from the cloud by having that. Uh, they've invested in uh, hiring some amazing talent. Uh, and I'd like to see them create some products that are truly competitive when it comes to these AI chatbots. Uh, so far, they've been a little bit cautious uh, and and not perhaps not monetize as much as say Microsoft, which has launched the Copilot. Um, so I would say that in general, that Microsoft is clearly the leader here. Um, but uh, you know, in, in the stock market today, it seems like uh, Google really exceeded expectations, perhaps more than uh, Microsoft did, since Google stock went up double digit percentage, whereas Microsoft is up about five percent the last time I checked. Mm -hmm. And speaking of Microsoft, their cloud division is the big winner. What can you tell us there? Well, I mean, they are, uh, they've done tremendously well. I mean, the CEO of, uh, of Microsoft, Satya Nadella, created that cloud division uh, and, and it's still accelerating. And I think the real reason it's accelerating is because of the investments that Microsoft made in chat GPT and generative AI uh, that then drives companies to uh, use its uh, cloud service. And, you know, as long as there's growing demand for the use of generative AI, uh, the, there's going to be an acceleration in, in the cloud service revenue for uh, Microsoft. So what about Microsoft's traditional PC business? The company said conditions are stabilizing. Yeah, I mean, I kind of almost ignore that. Um, it's it's not growing. I mean, it's been sort of 
shrinking slowly. But, uh, you know, I think that it's one of those things that it's good to have around because there's a lot of people that use the software that runs on the hardware that they make. And I just think it's, um, you know, it's a business that's always going to be somewhat cyclical. Now, the one thing that is quite interesting to me is that there's this sort of new business that in theory Microsoft could get into, which is the business of uh, AI powered servers. There's a company called Supermicro that is uh, really joined to the hip with NVIDIA and has done extremely well because of providing these AI servers. And perhaps that's an area that Microsoft can get into. So is that the main way Microsoft is making money with AI? Well, I mean, they're making money a lot of different ways. I mean, gaming, obviously, they made, just completed a huge acquisition in gaming um, and, and all the you know software. Uh, but I think that the real growth excitement at uh, Microsoft all relates to uh, generative AI, um, the possibility of people using their cloud in order to run uh, the large language models and also the possibility of monetizing Copilot. So if they can figure out how to get people to pay for that and to make it a, gener uh, a major revenue source for the company, I think that would really uh, jazz up the stock. Well, Peter, is there anything else on your radar regarding Microsoft and Alphabet that you believe should be on ours? Well, I think the one thing that's kind of interesting to me is they are trying to develop chips so that they don't need to buy from NVIDIA. And I think if they were to succeed in doing that, that would be really interesting. Another thing that's super interesting is the idea of going from large language models, which are very expensive to build and operate, to small language models, uh, which would um, have a very interesting impact on sort of democratizing generative AI to more people and more companies and allow people to use uh, generative AI on their handheld devices instead of requiring uh, cloud services. Well, thank you so much for joining me today, Peter. Thank you, Rosemary. Have a nice weekend.